Alright, what's happening people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, Oh Yan. I hope you lot are all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea news video where I'm going to be talking about three different things. First being, Chelsea have secured the signature of their next summer signing. That's right, it's another kid, but apparently he's a wonder kid. Finnish superstar, Jimmy Torianen. 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 Jimmy Torianen. <laughs> okay. Apparently Chelsea's game against Bayern Munich in the Champions League, the second leg, is going to be played behind closed doors. I want to have a sort of quick word on the coronavirus football and what actually that means for that potential fixture moving forwards. And finally, I want to talk about Chelsea's top four odds. Are Manchester United joint favourites to finish fourth and fifth with Chelsea? They're very, very close now. And if you look at the run-ins... It's gonna be tight. So it's some interesting stuff to get into there. Just a quick reminder to you guys to subscribe to Football Therapy. If you're new, like the video, hit the bell notifications icon, follow me on socials. All right, let's get into it. Let's start with the coronavirus, which is a pretty morbid thing to say. Obviously a pandemic, very, very serious situation around world, I was gonna say around world football, but around the world. And indeed, world football, Serie A has been suspended, which is pretty huge, actually. There's a huge problem in North Italy with the spreading of the virus. Obviously, we've seen the Premier League affected in some ways. No shaking hands, hand sanitizers being put around stadiums. The Premier League might actually conclude behind closed doors the way things are going as well. Who knows how things will end up and I guess it's dependent on how things progress and, you know, what the World Health Organization and all that kind of stuff says. But... I'm not really going to comment too much my opinion on the pandemic itself, but it's been said that Chelsea's game against Bayern Munich in the second leg of the Champions League will be played behind closed doors. Now, all football fans have to accept any and all measures taken if they're the correct measures, and, you know, spreading a virus is a very serious thing. So I wholeheartedly agree with all decisions, but this, incidentally, could also benefit Chelsea greatly. Now, I don't want to give any Chelsea fans hope of what is pretty much a dead tie in the second leg. But Chelsea have found form of late. They've got returning players from injury and I think Robert Lewandowski will still be out injured in this game. Maybe if there's no atmosphere in the Allianz Arena, the pressure's off Chelsea. They often play better away from home, certainly in Europe as well. Who knows, maybe something could happen. The only chance I could probably ever get through, in my opinion, is with like a 4-1 win. Probably a little bit ambitious. If Chelsea just put in a good performance away at Bayern, then that would be something they can take away from the experience, add a bit more positivity to their season, and hopefully bring that into the Premier League and the FA Cup, etc. Right, moving on to the positive part of this video. Chelsea have made a signing for the summer. Young, you know what? I'm just going to put his name on the screen now. <laughs> I'm going to call him Jimmy. Now, Jimmy is a 16-year-old Nordic lad from Finland. Very, very highly rated indeed. He apparently has an incredible left foot and can play anywhere up and down the left flank. Now, that's interesting. It remains to be seen if Chelsea preference him as more of an attacker or a defender down the left-hand flank. But in terms of striking the ball and having superb service, this is excellent. You can never have too many left-footers in your squad slash starting 11, especially Chelsea have been lacking that of late, really the most notable best left footer we have at the club at the moment is Marcus Alonso. Of course, it would be great to have Hakim Ziyech arrive playing in the, in the number 10 or the right wing, cutting in on his sweet left foot, but you need more. If you want more options on the pitch to do different patterns of play, attacking you know, plans, I guess. Just different attacking movements, I guess. Just something a bit different. People, when they know you can use your left foot really, really well, the opposition have to think differently, and there's just more options on the pitch. So it's a huge signing for Chelsea. He's penned a three-year deal. There's pictures of him posing with Frank Lampard and also signing the deal that's come out unofficially, I think. But still, it shows you it's been done. Chelsea are making moves with the youngsters again. They've often been criticised for this, but look what it's done in terms of the academy they have now. They've signed a couple of superstar 16 year olds now and they can be seen in and around the first team in the next year or so if people like Mutson and Brogia are coming in 17 and 18 and stuff why not why can't we see these kids next season great signing for Chelsea we move 
Finally, I want to talk about the top four situation. With Leicester pummeling Aston Villa, a lot of people were hoping that they might drop. But yes, they found form again. Vardy came off the bench and scored two goals. <sighs> so Leicester, I think, are again a shoe in for the top four. I don't think they are going to get dragged down into this battle. No European football as well. They'll be hoping they can just like see out the rest of the season quite comfortably now. So yeah, they're not getting dragged down into that sort of top four fight. So really it's Liverpool, Manchester City and Leicester. Let's discount the fifth place being potentially Champions League just for the moment. And let's talk about fourth place. Of course, Chelsea still sit in fourth place. Three points clear, one win clear. And at the moment, they're nearly neck and neck with Manchester United to finish in the top, to finish in fourth in terms of bookmakers' odds. But that's probably because they're three points ahead. Obviously, what I mean is, in terms of the run-in, Manchester United probably just edge it of having a slightly easier run-in. To be honest, it was the Manchester derby that was really going to make Chelsea favourites. City are obviously a much better team than Manchester United and they put in a really quite radically meek performance against United at Old Trafford because their season's over in the league. United just dug in, they scored or capitalised off a couple of goalkeeping mistakes and they got three points from the Manchester derby and that was not good for Chelsea Football Club. If everything went to the script like it was supposed to, that was an extra three points Chelsea was supposed to pull away from Manchester United and breathe a little bit more comfortably. But no, they're only three points ahead. I think they're five points ahead of like Wolves and stuff. And the race is on, man. Like I said, the bookmakers just make Chelsea favourites, but Chelsea still have some difficult games left in the Premier League. I think they still have Liverpool and City left. Manchester United's only difficult game, inverted commas, left, I think, is Tottenham Hotspur. And Tottenham Hotspur have been dismal of late. So already, you could say they'll beat Tottenham um, and Chelsea could lose to both. Well, City, you know, Chelsea have beaten Liverpool recently, but Liverpool on their day, still an amazing team. And of course, the last day of the season, Chelsea have Wolves at home, which is a six-pointer. Of course, Chelsea played really, really well away at Wolves, but I doubt they'll be able to pull the same trick with the 3-4-3 so successfully. Wolves have put in some magnificent performances as well, so Chelsea do have a much harder run-in. That's technically a six-pointer against Wolves. It could be. They could be a couple of points behind Chelsea at that point, and that could essentially leapfrog Chelsea. So there's nothing's given here. It's going to be a very, very hard run-in indeed. And to be honest, if Manchester United maintain good form, I think they're like unbeaten in like seven eight nine in a quite a lot of games united so they're in a vein of good form they're happy to just dig in to the end of the season proper grind it out chelsea don't play like that and really it's a pretty worrying situation i know people didn't expect frank lampard to finish in the top four pre-season but because chelsea have been camped out in that position so so long now for months and months and months it would feel disappointing to drop out of the top four and it could happen. It could happen. The thing is, if Chelsea do, say, finish fifth, don't get Champions League football, but, you know, qualified from the Champions League group, got to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup, it's still really a successful season, all things considered, for Frank Lampard, especially considering, you know, the conditions he was in. And also, there's some feel-good stories on the way in terms of bringing in eight academy debutants, and that's excluding Tammy Abraham and uh, Fikayo Tomori, because they played a little bit for Chelsea before. So there's 10 really academy players that he's been utilising there, which is incredible, really. But it will feel difficult not to feel disappointed have, if Chelsea do indeed fall out of the top four. Anyway, I want to get your guys' thoughts and opinions and all the stuff I've spoken about in today's video. What do you think about this new Wonder Kid left-footed signing Jimmy? Do you know anything about him? Get down in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on that. What do you think about Chelsea's chances versus Bayern Munich? Painful and sad, I know. I'm sorry to bring it up. And do you... Are you you confident Chelsea will finish in the top four? Look at the run-in for both United and Chelsea. What do you think? Express your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the content, guys, it would mean a lot to me if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you are indeed new to football therapy, come follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. But that's it for me, ladies and gents. You enjoy the football and I will see you later. So tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. 
Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me 